Hello everybody and welcome to this channel. In this video I'll show you one of the uh, partial uh, commands that we will use in any window uh, related platforms. Uh, a command that's uh, for displaying message. The message that we see when we are uh, executing a script uh, that we like also to display if you want to display uh, on the on the command line uh, uh, ourselves, but mostly it's the, when you are when you execute a command line when you execute a script that uh, you would see a message that comes after each executions as a, a way of showing what's happening, what the uh, what the results look like, where is it at, uh, everything. So uh, you know, generally we can just show a, a message by doing write host. Uh, that's a formal or the normal thing that everybody uh, tends to use but if you want to uh, show a message in the right way so that it's uh, also clear to, to the readers who are executing the script it, uh, it has to be uh, the right uh, command mm, that we have to use so I, I have compiled a small uh, uh, PowerPoint that I, I was gonna show you uh, about uh, what are the this, uh, different type of uh, uh, way of this uh, displaying messages in a PowerShell uh, commands. So one of them is the write debug. So when you do, uh, when do we use this? We use this uh, when we want to display messages uh, useful for deep debugging scripts. Which is, uh, if you want to say, "Hey, I'm here," I uh, when you want to debug, let's say. Uh, your your script is not working correctly. There is some error in between. So if you want to debug, you put those messages in between, uh, in between lines, different lines. That way you can uh, see where it's uh, if it is displaying correctly. Let's say, hey, on this line, I'm expecting this value. You see that? Okay, debug. I, I'm expecting here by this value, uh, and then you continue. By doing so, you are able to uh, figure out what the error is. So it's better to use this write debug. So to for this write debug to be activated, you have to uh, do one small things, which is the debug preferences. So you have to enable the debug uh, first before even before you run your script. You better uh, enable these uh, debug preferences. You can do either inquiry, which means wait for me to move on so which means I give you a, 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 a permission to move on which means it doesn't continue or you can say continue by which means it will display the value but it will continue so this is one of the way of displaying message like I said normally we use write host but it's uh, if we have to use the right way this is one uh, of the uh, commands a second command is write error. Then you know when uh, again when you uh, are uh, comparing or when you are assessing uh, uh, values at some point, or even when you are uh, processing something, you might uh, uh, hit an error. You might see an error. So if there is an error, you will definitely stop the the whole execution. But what do you do? How do you display a message? So usually I would say also write host. Write host, hey, this command is uh, uh, giving error. So please uh, please uh, fix it. But instead, you better give the right uh, the right way, which means if you write, uh, if you do this way, if you display the message using this write error, it will give a right, a red uh, color uh, texts which means what it indicates that okay some here, there is an error That's, which is clear and easy also to understand when you see this uh, color oh there's an error so it's uh, better to use write error and the second is warning so we again when you're processing something you might see uh, the problem uh, is not a big pro the 
the the display or the result may not be a big uh, a problem or may not be a big stoppage problem but it's a potential problem so without stopping the the whole execution in the scripts you can just give a, a warning hey I'm doing this but uh, consider uh, fixing it later or even when you are doing a comparison you can make give a, 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 a warning hey this is close but it's not correct something like that so again you would do you would use you still use right host but if you use this warning it gives you a, a different color with that uh, that shows it's a warning which is yellow uh, color there is also another uh, command of this plain message, which is write uh, verbose. Uh, it provides detailed information about the script's progress or actions. So, if you, uh, uh, let's say, okay, I'm in this, uh, I'm at the end of this. Plus, I want uh, you want to also display uh, a lot of informations as you are in this progress you can use also this verbose so to again to uh, to activate this uh, uh, verbose uh, or to display some informations you have to uh, enable you have to use either uh, activate it at the beginning or you uh, append this uh, hyphen verbose uh, toward the end of this uh, command verbose uh, right verbose uh, line that way you will see a verbose uh, or information detailed information and the other one is write output so this write output is again pretty much similar to the write host but it has a little extra uh, advantage which because it sends objects down the pipeline for further processing let's say you know the you you know the grab things when you do a grab you uh, it means you would use uh, you would uh, uh, process the the strings or the inputs so you bring this as an output you bring the those inputs uh, using this right output and then you process them it mean because it means it's passing for further processing okay uh, the last one is right host which i like i said right host is very uh, uh, the generic one that a lot of times we use actually also use echo which is uh, command that is uh, commonly used in both uh, platforms Linux and uh, Windows platform but the right way in a window platform it's just this right host so uh, this is just directly uh, outputs uh, into the console which means into the uh, uh, into your uh, into the lines uh, when you just write it, it just uh, displayed, nothing else. So it's just similar to output, but it's different because it's not passing to the pipeline. It's just uh, writing them into the console. Okay, so this is the uh, a little explanation or discussion. But if we go to uh, mm, so real example okay I have a script that I prepared uh, I would I don't know I, would, I, I think I would uh, it would uh, explain some uh, some of these uh, concepts we discussed uh, so uh, in this script I have a uh, write host write host is just like I said it's just information and and then like I mentioned about the debug you have to uh, activate it at the beginning so I, I said continue but just give me some uh, 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 some output which means so for example here this target is coming out from this previous input so that means okay I'm assured that the output is uh, this or the I mean the input that was provided is this so okay and this line until this line I'm seeing this result so is it expected Yes, it seems like. Then I move on. Then I can also put another uh, after. And the output is also, uh, like I said, I, I could have used the uh, this output in for the other 
right uh, main purpose which is passing a subject to uh, to the pipeline but i'm just using it as an output okay when i when i get the the result uh, i'm just uh, outputting it uh, and then if it is an error if i say it's in the error part i i write the, i use this write error command which means it will say it will display this uh, message with red and then it will exit as well and then the other one is warning and then okay i'll let you go but i have to warn you that's what it says so in this uh, in this condition if i am i'm allowing it to to move on i use this warning but i'm not happy with the result, with the input but uh, again i'll let you uh, uh, move move on so it means it doesn't stop or it's not an error and the verbose is and then it's it's just the it's kind of a progress or an action like a, we we, did, we saw in the discussion uh, so I, I'm saying at the end okay I'm done so I'm just uh, writing uh, or outputting it here so if we uh, execute this test again uh, as you see here it will first execute uh, this uh, li line number two, which means it will just display it's just simple information but it, when it comes to line five it's expecting eh, an input from the user so i'm going to give an input so let's say i'm going to give 32 so if you if you can see here uh, this won't come in it won't come in as well because it's, it's, no it will come here uh, but also it if it if it's if it comes here it means it won't move because it will stop nothing will be executed nothing behind this below this will be executed so if i again if i uh if i hit enter here uh what it, what comes is because so far it's here so first thing that i will see is the debug hey you you the value you provided is this it will show me and then it will go inside okay so let's put it let's hit enter see the value you provided is this which is the debug and now we got an error right so the value the value is too small see the value is too small which is wrong we will stop the script so it's exit exit but also it's giving you red so you know as a uh, mm, you know, in the scripts, if you work in a scripting uh, uh, world, usually the red is uh, assumed as an error. Uh, plus, let's say if I give a, a little uh, different, higher value, which is now, it will not come in. It will not come in any any of those guys. It will just come. It will come in here, but it won't stop, which means it will go all the way. So. So uh, what I'm going to see is, if I hit enter, what am I seeing? Uh, first one seen is I'm and I'm seeing the debug, and the second one is I'm right, I'm seeing the warning, and the final is the verbose, because I enabled it using the verbose. So this is how I would uh, uh, use and this uh, when displaying a, a message. In, a, in my script and also uh, they becomes descriptive it uh, bec uh, it explains or it yeah explains every information I'm getting with their color as well so I hope uh, this was informative and helpful to you if you have any comments or questions please leave me in the comment section if you find this information helpful consider uh, sharing it with your friends and family and uh, and for more video, don't forget to subscribe. For now, bye-bye.